I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm continuing my discussion with Paul Gautier, who founded Did It. Paul, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, my pleasure. So we were talking about uh, when when your users clicked the wanna and did it, and uh, you know what, you've got thousands, hundreds and thousands of people that have already done that, correct? Yeah, we've been running a sort of a private sneak peek for the last six months, mm -hmm. and we've been doing that while we're building out the content on the site. Uh, so we've managed to pull together 300,000 fun things to do in the world. Right. Everything from beaches to surf at, ski resorts to go to, wines, sort of anything you can think of, we've got it in there. Right. Uh, we've also attracted a large user base already. Uh, we've got uh, over 10,000 people on the site now. Um, right. And they've been going around checking things off the whole time. And so I think we've got three quarters of a million things that have been checked off on the site already. Right. Well, you're opening, you have 10,000 users because you had a private beta, yeah. but you really are opening the site. You don't have to actually be registered to actually browse the site, right? So it's sort of an open, closed type of Exactly. Network. That's the big change that's happening right now is we're opening the site up. Uh, we've okay. got all this content. We've got all these people who've come in and okay. provided wonderful stories and reviews about the content. Mm -hmm. So now it's a resource for anybody. You can come and browse and, and find out about these things. Now, I think, you know, being at the helm of a social network myself and being a student of many social networks, one of the things, one of the key things that... Uh, that uh, social network companies have to create or social media companies have to create is a feedback loop. So to keep your users engaged, get them to register, get them to communicate and interact and, and contribute. Uh, so what, what are the top three things you do besides the wanna and did it, which is really easy, and, the, you know, and then also sharing your, uh, uh, not testimonial or, or feedback, what are some other things you're doing to create that feedback loop? Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's just, it's very compelling to go around and check the things off you've done, and people sort of get into a bit of gameplay with that. So we've got some high scoreboards for people who want to sort of be the best person in the sports category. I've done the most things in sports. I've done the most things in travel and tourism. Mm -hmm. um, so people come on the site, and they get very interested in, in uh, sort of their standing in the community. They come back and keep checking things off. Right. Um, there's also the social aspects of it, sort of you can connect with your friends on Did It, or you can connect with your friends out in the other social networks like Facebook and Twitter. Um, and share with them the things I've accomplished. So I went to Whistler, I checked that off, my friends can see that I've done that, they get updates and status on that, that brings that back in. And they go, you know what, I've done that thing too, and they can check it off. So and you sort share of it with Facebook, you can share what you've done with, your, with other networks? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So we've got some basic social features in the site, but we also want to connect it out into the how ecosystem. Does that, how do you share with Twitter? Uh, so you can just post a tweet if you've done something, essentially. So you check it off, I've been there, I've done that, and I can blast that out to my friends. When they get a link, they can come back to Did It and see sort of a rich, interesting description of what you've done. Photos of Whistler, you know, stories by other people at Whistler, maybe you wrote a story. So you can automatically do like a post, a tweet on your site that automatically goes to Twitter. Exactly. That's a feature okay. we'll be rolling out shortly right after we open the front door. We, oh, okay, we so needed to open the site up to, okay. to be able to integrate with these uh, external uh, sites. So what, uh, what is your plan? That's partly a distribution plan right there, syndication plan. Uh, what else is, what else are you planning to What's on the roadmap to get this uh, distributed? Yeah, I mean, Did It is unique in that um, it's about content. It's about things you want to do. It's about um, sort of places and activities. So it's good for search. If I'm searching for things on the internet, searching for ski resorts, searching for beaches, we want to sort of work on search engine optimization, provide great content that will rank highly in search engines. That will bring people to the site. Um, but it's also social. Um, you want to share these accomplishments and experiences with your friends. Mm -hmm. So we've got a certain amount of virality there where people can sort of bring in their friends, expose them to the site. Mm -hmm. We think those things will work together really well to, to, to bring people What to are the it. keys to SEO? Uh, I mean, fundamentally, producing great content is, I think, the, the best thing you can do. Um, there's all kinds of sort of um, mechanical things you need to do right. Um, but we want to uh, have great structured data um, sort of uh, about all these topics, where they're located, sort of information about them, and then color commentary from the community, ratings and reviews and things like that. Do that's ratings and reviews help in SEO? Uh, it's good content, and, and I think that's, uh, you know, that's what ultimately gets people on the web to link to you, right. and those links are the things that help pull you up in the search engine. That's so. true. It's the good content. So you you're really are how many people are linking back to you. Um, how about business model, making money? What's the model? I mean, the content in Didn't is fundamentally something that we think we can monetize. It's about going places, doing things. You're interacting with different businesses when you do those things. You need gear for those things. So mm -hmm. if I'm going skiing, I might uh, want to be uh, 
uh, introduced to some Burton products that I might want to use when I'm snowboarding. Uh, I want to uh, be introduced to the uh, ski resorts that I might want to go to. So there's, there's definitely players out there who we think will want to advertise on the site, bring their brands in association with the site, and sort of promote their businesses on the site as well. And you're going to focus on them, and that's sort of reaching out, getting a sales force to go focus on these, go di going directly to specific sponsors or companies. Do, are you going to focus on a specific area, like ski resorts? Um, I think yeah. for right now, we're going to be focused on building a product that's really great for the, for the users, provides a very uh, valuable reference and resource for people who want to research things. Okay. And then down the line, we'll be looking to, to start uh, bringing partners on. Um, okay. And looking to hire with your... Uh, we're yeah, about 10 people right now. Uh, we'll probably bring on a couple more people in the next year or so. Uh, but we're at a pretty good size. Okay. Right now. And just a broad question, this is the last question, but um, you know, I was just reading the paper today that magazine sales are down like 11%. So in, broadly speaking, what's happening, broadly speaking, um, in media that's either helping you or creating this opportunity for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably a challenging time in the media world right now. Uh, I think people still want to go out and have these experiences in their lives. And so coming online and finding out about them on Did It, I think, will work for us. Uh, in terms of the larger economy, uh, we're a small company right now. We, we've raised some money, so we're in a good position to spend some time now building a great product, attracting users um, while this is going on. Okay. Well, Paul, we wish you the best of luck. Right, thank you. I've been speaking with Paul Gauthier. He's a co-founder of Did It. I'm Bambi Francisco.